since f values are ratios of variances, and variances are squared standard deviations, the f distribution is over all positive values. The mean of the f distribution is approximately equal to 1. The critical value of this test was found in the f distribution table. It is equal to 3.89. The f critical value, f alpha, equals 3.8, equal to 3.89, splits the distribution such that the probability of being greater than 3.89 is equal to 0.05, the significance level, or the red shaded area. The critical value also defines the do not reject the null and reject the null regions. Since f stat is equal to 9.55 and it is in the rejection region, the f stat is large, suggesting the mean square due to treatments is greater than the mean square due to error. This implies the null hypothesis is probably true, meaning we have sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean number of hours worked per week by all department managers is not the same at all three plants. In the previous ANOVA test, experimental units were homogeneous. However, since differences may exist between experimental units, randomized block design is used to account for these differences. For example, Hispanic women tend to be more traditional because they are Catholic. Hence, Hispanic women are more likely to be married and stay-at-home moms. If Hispanic women are included in a study with white, black, and Asian women, the procedure needs to account for the differences that may exist between them. If we do not do this, the MSC can be overly inflated. An inflated MSC deflates the F statistic. The researcher uses blocks to form homogeneous groups to remove the inflation in the MSE, which corrects the F stat. In the example below, Crescent Oil has developed three new blends of gasoline and must decide which blend or blends to produce and distribute. A study of the MPG ratings of the three blends is being conducted to determine if the mean ratings are the same for the three blends at a 10% level of significance. Each of the three gasoline blends have been tested on five automobiles. The miles per gallon ratings for the 15 automobiles in the study are shown in the table on the next slide. In this table there are five cars. Each row represents a car driven around using three different types of gasoline. The first car might have been a blue Nissan. The second car might have been a red Honda, etc. The number that is in blend X column and row 1, 31, is the miles per gallon that the blue Nissan got using blend X gasoline. The number to the right of it is the miles per gallon the same car got using blend Y gasoline. The number 30 in the second row and in blend X column is the miles per gallon that the red Honda got using blend X gasoline. Adding up the five numbers in the blend X column and then dividing by five equals X bar dot one. Treatment, treatment one's sample mean. The five cars used in this study had an average fuel economy of 29.8 miles per gallon using blend X gasoline. Adding up the five numbers in the blend Y column and dividing by, dividing by 5 equals x bar dot 2, treatment 2 sample mean. The five cars used in the study had an average fuel economy of 28.8 miles per gallon used in blend Y gasoline. Adding up the five numbers in the blend Z column and then dividing by 5 equals x bar dot, two, x bar dot 3, treatment 3 sample mean. The five cars used in this study had an average fuel economy of 28.4 miles per gallon using Blend Z's gasoline. Adding up the three numbers in the first row and then dividing by three equals X bar one dot. Block one sample mean. The first car used in the study had an average fuel economy 
of 30.33 miles per gallon using the three different blends of gasoline. Adding up the three numbers in the second row and then dividing by three equals x bar two dot block two sample mean. The second car used in the study had an average fuel economy of 29.33 miles per gallon using the three blends of gasoline. Adding up the three numbers in the third row and then dividing by three equals x bar three dot block three sample mean. The third car used in the study had an average fuel economy of 28.67 miles per gallon using the three blends of gasoline. Adding up the three numbers in the fourth row and then dividing by three equals x bar four dot block four sample mean. The fourth car used in the study had an average fuel economy of 31 miles per gallon using the three blends of gasoline. Adding up the three numbers in the fifth row and then dividing by three equals x bar five dot block five sample mean. The fifth car used in the study had an average fuel economy of 25.67 miles per gallon using the three blends of gasoline. Adding up all 15 numbers and then dividing by 15 equals the overall or grand sample mean x bar bar. The five cars averaged 29 miles per gallon using the three blends of gasoline. Here we're ignoring the differences in type of gasoline and type of vehicle. Total sum of squares equals the first square deviation from the grand mean plus the second square deviation from the grand mean plus the third square deviation from the grand mean plus the fourth square deviation from the grand mean plus the fifth square deviation from the grand mean, etc. plus the fifteenth square deviation from the grand mean, which equals 62 miles per gallon squared. The sum of squares due to treatments is equal to the number of blocks, in this case five, times the quantity of the square deviation of blend x's sample mean from the grand mean, plus the square deviation of blend y's sample mean from the grand mean, plus the square deviation of blend z's sample mean from the grand mean, which equals 5.2 miles per gallon squared. The sum of squares due to blocks is equal to the number of treatments, in this case three gasoline types, times the quantity of the square deviation of block one sample mean from the grand mean, plus the square deviation of block two sample mean from the grand mean, plus the square deviation of block three sample mean from the grand mean, plus the square deviation of block four's sample mean from the grand mean, plus the square deviation of block five sample mean from the grand mean, which equals 51.33 miles per gallon squared. The sum of squares due to error is equal to the total sum of squares minus the sum of squares due to treatments minus the sum of squares due to blocks, which equals 5.47 miles per gallon squared. Notice that most of the variation is across blocks. That is, very little of the variation is being caused by the different blends of gasoline. To construct the ANOVA table, first record the sum of squares due to treatments, blocks, and error. Summing these yields the total sum of squares, which is 62. Next record the degrees of freedom for each of the sum of squares, 2, 4, and 8. The mean square due to treatments is equal to sum of squares due to treatments divided by its degrees of freedom, which is 2.6 miles per gallon squared. The mean square due to blocks is equal to the sum of squares due to blocks divided by its degrees of freedom, which is equal to 12.83 miles per gallon squared. The mean square due to error is equal to the sum of squares due to error divided by its degrees of freedom, which is 0.68 miles per gallon squared. 
Divide the mean square due to treatments by the mean square due to error equals the F stat, which is 3.82. When the F stat is big, the MST is larger than the MSE. And so the MSTR is not a good estimate of population variance sigma square. This suggests that the population means are probably different. Since F values are ratios of variances, and variances are squared standard deviations, the F distribution is over all positive values. The mean of the F distribution is approximately equal to 1. The critical value of this test was found in the F distribution table in the row associated with a denominator degrees of freedom equal to 8 and a significance level equal to 0 0.10 and in the column associated with numerator degrees of freedom equal to 2. Thus the critical value is 3.11. The critical value splits the distribution such that the probability of being greater than the critical value is equal to 10%, the value of the significance or the shaded red area. The critical value also defines the do not reject the null and reject the null regions. Since F stat equals 3.82 and this is in the reject region, the F stat is considered quote unquote large. This suggests that the mean square due to treatments is greater than the mean square due to error. This implies the null hypothesis is probably not true, meaning we reject the null hypothesis because there is sufficient evidence to conclude that miles per gallon fuel economy ratings differ for the three blends of gasoline. Complete homework 13 on Blackboard.